simple manufacturing model. Uh, I'll just run this model right away. mode so the model gets warmed up. What, what happens here, this is a model of a uh, uh, foam or aerated concrete manufacturing. The, uh, this is the short description of the, the process, so the mix is prepared over here, then it gets stored in this rising area uh, where it needs to spend some time um, before it uh, proceeds further to the cutting line and then uh, to autoclaves over here where uh, uh, this <coughs> concrete is baked and then it's removed from autoclaves and proceeds to the unloading zone. So pretty, pretty simple uh, manufacturing process. So um, what, what we have in any logic, this is obviously a 2D uh, animation of the process. You can also do uh, 3D. So uh, this is the rising area, this is the uh, cutting line, make it a little bit faster. So when uh, this thing get, uh, get filled, I'll proceed into autoclave, so I'll So 2D and 3D animation, obviously statistics. The model is still in the warm-up period, but uh, while it's warming up, um, I can probably tell what tell you what what is what's here. This is the process a processing log the, because because this is the kind of uh, simplified real project. So the customer required to log everything that's happening in the. Uh, in the model. This is uh, utilization of uh, various uh, storages and equipment pieces that are in the model. But while the model is warming up, I would like to show you some internals of this model. So I'm um, going back to the model development environment. So uh, obviously as long as this is manufacturing model, uh, discriminant modeling is used in most of the places here. Like if you uh, look at the uh, for example, uh, no, not really. this border clavering. We have some queues, hull blocks, uh, and other queues. These are blocks from the enterprise library. This is just one of many uh, palettes in any logic. And this is basically uh, the uh, uh, where you can find all the um, all the discriminant modeling blocks or pieces you're used to, like source, sink, halt, delay, queue, uh, working with resources, etc., etc. So, um, as you can see, by the way, the, the, uh, this model is uh, modular. It consists of about maybe 20, uh, 20 modules. Uh, each having some internal structure. This is purely discriminant model. Uh, conveyor, conveyor, queue, hall block, delay, another conveyor, etc. But some of the uh, modules here are not discriminant. For example, let's look at the uh, uh, crane. This piece of equipment in this model is described using a state chart. In other words, uh, here, uh, this screen is an agent, an agent that has its uh, internal behavior. Uh, it can be in one of these states, waiting, loading, moving, unloading, and waiting for the next task. So this is a state chart. How many of you guys are familiar with state charts? 
Mm -hmm. A few, thank you. So stage art is uh, yet another language supported uh, by any logic. Stage art is extremely useful for describing individual behaviors, be it like equipment pieces like here, or maybe uh, human behavior, or maybe uh, behavior of an organization, if you're modeling organization as, a, as an agent in, in your model. So if you uh, like look through the um, mm, objects uh, in this model, like Autoclav is another agent with uh, another stage chart like this, like empty, loading, warming up, working, etc. And some pieces are uh, are purely discrete events. So in fact, this manufacturing model, although it may look uh, purely uh, discrete event model, is a mixture of uh, processes and uh, agents, or uh, namely in this particular case, these are equipment pieces described using a state chart. And the model has warmed up, warmed up already, and you can look at the uh, like uh, downtime, uh, utilization of various, <coughs> uh, various resources in the model and the law. So that was a uh, manufacturing model.